Well, this Saturday, downtown Detroit will be a sea of pink with thousands of survivors and supporters making strides against breast cancer. And ahead of the big walk, Fox's Liz Lewin is uh, talking more about one woman's fight and the importance of finding a cure. My daughter was very young when, when her dad went through it, and I didn't want her to see me go through it. The big C. It's something no one wishes for, and yet the American Cancer Society estimates this year alone in the U.S. there will be nearly 2 million new cancer cases. Dr. Stephanie Cole is a surgeon at DMC Huron Valley Sinai Hospital and says among women, breast cancer is the most common. One in eight women will get it in the United States in their lifetime, and most of us know more than eight women. The ACS estimates nearly 300,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer this year alone. A large majority of new diagnoses of breast cancer are people who don't have uh, any or a strong family history. It's not necessarily genetic. Pain, a lump of bump, um, discharge, changes in the skin on your breast, um, abnormal lumps, bumps in your armpits that could be enlarged lymph nodes. Those are reasons to go see and talk to your doctor sooner. That's how Lori Nimmo's Big C story started. But looking back, never in a million years did this 58-year-old wife, mother, grandmother, daughter, and friend think it would happen to her, especially after watching her husband's journey. My husband having it, it was a large battle, a big battle. Um, he went through bladder cancer, um, bladder removal, and he has a new new type of bladder. I was the caregiver, so I took care of him, you know, the whole throughout the whole process. She also took care of her mom, who ultimately lost her battle with cancer. Lori has also been recently taking care of her dad, who was diagnosed with aggressive prostate cancer. But this time, things were different for her. In the middle of his radiation treatments, um, I, it's when I found my my lump and started the process of trying to figure out what was what what it was from caregiver to patient. I knew there was something not right about it because it just didn't feel right. Doctors, including Dr. Cole, recommend women start mammograms at the age of 40. Lori did that. She also performs self-exams. But it had only been 22 months after Lori's last mammogram that she found that suspicious lump in her breast. And on Monday, I was on the portal. Me being who I am, I have to check it out. Got on the portal and it was right there that I had. It was invasive ductal carcinoma. On Lori and her husband's 24th wedding anniversary, she found out she had cancer. The MRI and then surgery, it went very quick. I had our first grandson three days after my surgery. Thankfully, Lori's margins are now clear. She starts radiation next week, and per her prayers, she does not need chemo. Lori says early detection and taking action likely saved her life. And on a personal note, I want to share this with you all. After a doctor's visit, I too had my very first mammogram recently after knowing the family history of breast cancer in my own family. Early detection truly is the best preventative action you can take. And our hope, both Lori and mine, is that our stories inspire you to take action. Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.